So once again, we have challenged the Bazaar community to come up with the best build that they possibly can based on the items that they were given and just three days to put those builds together. However, this time, they've gone ahead and taken two different items that were required to be in builds and put them in the same one. So let's see if we can uh, dive into how this sort of mastermind plan of combining multiple items from the challenge will work. As per usual, this is a bizarre build out of compacts. That, that means no hero stats, no hero skills, and no item scaling of any sort. This should be almost impossible to do. So were they able to do it? This challenge build was created around two different challenge build items, the cannon and the trusty handgun. So, first things first, let's go into the trusty handgun, because I think it's the simpler of the two. Maybe not the simpler, but it's the... Maybe, maybe the weaker of the two. Trusty handgun is a medium weapon that every four seconds deals 12 damage. Its passive is when you use an item, uh, adjacent aquatic item, nonetheless. Reload this. Reload is just gain one ammo. Even if you already have one ammo, you just gain one ammo. And it starts with one ammo. So after four seconds, the trusty handgun shoots its only shot. And then unless an aquatic item either side of it triggers, then it stays with zero ammo. So you need to keep feeding it ammo by having aquatic items either side of a trigger. And Lysak, who is the creator of this build, came up with a very, very interesting solution to this that I am very much a fan of. However, we're getting ahead of ourselves. The other new item that was included in this build was the cannon, which is a medium weapon that every five seconds deals eight damage and four burn. This item has plus one ammo for each weapon that you own itself being a weapon. So at the very least, it's going to fire once, and then for every weapon you have, it will have that extra ammo. So after 10 seconds, if you have two weapons, it can fire that second shot and do another eight damage and another four burn. Four burn's going to last two seconds and deal four plus three is seven, plus two plus one. It's going to deal 10 damage, right? Four burn is 10 damage, effectively. So over two seconds, this deals 18 damage, which is pretty strong. Uh, two seconds for 18 damage. Yeah, that's very strong. Um, and at five gold, it's a pretty solid item. So let's dive through the actual build from top to bottom and let's see what Lysak has been building. So the first item, the far left item on his build is the Cannonball, which is just a small item with only a passive. When you use an item with ammo, deal five damage. Well, we already know that we have at least two items with ammo in this build because those are the two items that were part of the challenge that were he was including in this build. So this is going to be dealing at least 10 damage every five seconds if both those items are firing, the trusty handgun and the cannon. So that's a nice small little addition. And for a small item but that just costs two gold, yeah, I kind of really like adding this into the build. We'll be able to judge it more based on what we see from the rest of the build. And if we see any holes, that maybe something else could have gone in this space. That's the only thing that I'm slightly worried about with Cannonball is it's it synergizes. But I wonder if that small little hole could be plugged with something else. But we'll get there. Next in the line is Cannon. So every five seconds with whatever amount of ammo it has, deal eight damage and four burn. I guess at this point... I'm not going to reveal all the other items. Well, I will reveal all the other items. You've seen them in the build above. But I'm not going to go into the other items. Let me just say that there are one, two, three, four, five weapons. So that this will have five ammo. So after 25 seconds, this becomes useless. It just sort of sits there doing nothing. Well, a little bit longer than 25 seconds. Um... But this is going to get a significant amount of damage out. The fact that you, they've been able to include five weapons is really, really going to do wonders for cannon. Um, it's just going to be constant, consistent damage. 18 damage every five seconds. Bang, bang, bang. And if you're able to add more burn to it, then those burn stacks can start stacking quite considerably. And speaking of burn stacks, let me jump on to the incendiary rounds, which is the next item along. And for those of you playing at home, next to incendiary rounds is the trusty handgun, which we've already gone into. So this little trio is a little interesting setup. So between cannon and trusty handgun, the incendiary rounds are a small weapon. The fact that these get weapon is ridiculous because they don't do any damage. There is no active. 
at the start of the fight, give adjacent items plus one ammo, and then when you use an ammo weapon, burn for two. So this has nice synergy with Cannibal. Every time we use an ammo weapon, we are dealing five bonus damage and two bonus burn damage, thanks to Incendiary Rounds and Cannibal, two burn damage being three damage over one second. But those are both being applied to Cannon and Trusty Handgun. And Incendiary Rounds is giving Cannon and Trusty Handgun plus one ammo. For Trusty Handgun, that means that it's going to survive for eight seconds before it needs reloading from any aquatic items. And for cannon, it means it gets its sixth shot. This thing will last for 30 seconds, dealing 30 times 18 damage before it becomes inert and does nothing. And that's, that 18 damage is just its native damage, by the way. That doesn't include the extra eight damage being applied by cannonball and incendiary rounds. Incendiary rounds actually buff its burn damage as well, so it, it, does, it works out to be a little more then just 18 plus 8, 26. So Cannon will do 6 burn damage thanks to Incendiary Rounds. Which is 6 plus 5, which is 11. Plus 4, which is 15. Plus 3, <laughs> which is 18. Plus 2, 20, 21. So it will do 21 burn damage. Plus 8 regular damage and 5 regular damage together for 13. So it will do... What did I say? 21 plus 13 is 34. So Cannon will be doing 34 damage every time it fires. Uh, sorry, 6 times over 30 seconds. That's considerable. I actually really like that as a base level. I feel like Cannon fits really, really nicely into the sort of speed that the designers were aiming for currently. Like, cannon is a significant damage item, don't get me wrong. And especially with incendiary rounds applied to it. But it's just that, it's, it's a significant damage item that needs that support. And I love it. I really think that fits quite nicely. Uh, the other side of incendiary rounds, we did already say, we have the trusty handgun. Uh, which is dealing 12 damage every 4 seconds. After 8 seconds, it will trigger again. And then at 12 seconds, it's going to need something else to have triggered. What is that something else, you ask? Well, we have the Jellyfish to the right of Trusty Handgun. It is a small aquatic weapon that every 10 seconds applies one poison. Okay, so every 10 seconds we're adding one ammo. Aha, but it has a passive. When you daze your opponent, use this item. This is starting to get interesting. So, if we can apply days at roughly once every four seconds, then Jellyfish can infinitely charge the trusty handgun. Our other two items, moving swiftly on. The grappling hook, every 10 seconds, thereabouts, this small weapon dazes for three seconds. And when you daze someone, you deal a significant amount of damage. We currently have listed 31 damage, but I think it's going to be less than that. So, Grappling Hook. Every 10 seconds is going to trigger. Same as Jellyfish. So, after 10 seconds, Trusty Handgun is going to get 2 ammo. Which will last it 8 seconds. So, it's almost already at infinite scaling. Then, our last item is the medium item, Dock Lines. Every six seconds, daze your opponent for two seconds. Which will, by the way, deal damage from Grappling Hook, as well as trigger Jellyfish, which will reload Trusty Handgun every six seconds now. So Trusty Handgun re gets one ammo at six seconds, and two more ammo at ten seconds. Fires every four seconds. We have an infinite firing Trusty Handgun. Ideal. That's what we want from this. Because it's applying two burn every time and doing an extra five damage from Cannonball. This is a really, really well-fitted build. And I do love that. I feel like... I mentioned earlier I wasn't sure if Cannonball fit or if it was necessary. I think for what this build is, 
cannonball is necessary because this build is just one that fits so snugly together. Every item has its part to do and it does it well. There might be some items you can swap out. There might be some different dazing items that you could swap grappling hook and dock lines for. And maybe there is another small item that you can replace cannonball for. But I don't think there's much room for error in this build. As a bizarre build out of context, this is grand. Because this is what we're after. We're after the dumb, ridiculous builds that have infinite firing trusty handguns and cannons dealing 34 damage every th 5 seconds. Like, yes, bravo. And the fact that it includes both of them and you were able to augment both cannon and trusty handgun in the same build brings me joy. However, <laughs> even though this is a bizarre build out of context, we always consider how easy it is to pivot out of this build or get to this build in the first place. And unless you're picking up like cannon, trusty handgun, jellyfish as your first few items, this is going to feel rough to get into this build. So, because it's going to be a rough start, but a strong finish to this build, my Bok rating out of 5 is going to be a solid 4. If for some reason you are able to more easily reach this build, or if we even find out that there are some components that build quite nicely into this build for Vanessa as we get more item reveals down the line, that could go up to a 5. This build, I really, really dig. It just fits so well together. It's a perfectly crafted build. So congratulations on that. We are just looking for a little bit more flexibility. Very, very vital to these builds. That being said, if you do want to make sure you're keeping on top of all of the items that are coming in, so you're maybe looking for the, one of those two building blocks for your build and you haven't quite seen anything out there, then you definitely do want to be subscribed and you should probably check out this other video where we go over a bunch of some of the other classes, important building blocks and uh, what you should be looking to get from them.